Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to extract year, month and day in various formats from a date in Power Automate. When you're working on a project, working with date values are very important and most of the time, you get to play with the individual component of a date. Take for example, the year, exact year, the month, the day, up to seconds in the individual form rather than working with the whole date. Sometimes you also, also work with the whole date. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to extract year as a separate you know, value, month, date from a particular give, or from a given date in Power Automate. I'm also going to show you as well how to extract these values either as integer or as string format. And let's get to work. So I'm going to create a flow and this time it's going to be an instant cloud flow. I just want to click a button to trigger, which I'm going to call date extraction. Manually trigger a flow. I'm going to click OK. All right. I will be also using Compose Action Card, you know, just to show us how it works. So through this, I can write my expression and just keep it inside and see what the output is going to be and print it out. I can also reuse the output of a Compose Action Card. For my date input, I'm going to use the UTC now. So I want to show us UTC now is a function that gives you the exact date and time at the moment. And I'm going to say UTC now. So when I click OK, just to show us, I'm going to test this now and we can check the output together. All right, the output is here. So can you see it is 7th of January 2021 and cool with that so i'm going to edit now and i'll be making use of this instead of compose i'm just going to rename it and call it date value this is the date value we're going to be using the next step i'm going to add another compose action card and this is going to be year how do you get to extract exact year from a date value i'm going to call this year and in my input, I come to my expression. Because the year is number, is, is integer, so you need to convert the output because you're going to turn the output in a string. But I'm going to put integer just to convert whatsoever I get from this expression that I'm going to write. There is a function called format date, date time. It helps you to format your date and time, and it receives two inputs. One is the date value and the second one, which is the timestamp. It should also be in string format, as you can see from the description. And the second is the format you want to return the value, which should also be in string. So for my date input, I'm coming back here to date value. And I'm going to, I'm going to put a comma and for year, I'll type this four times. Remember, it's in quotes, single quotes. Yeah, I have it. I'm going to click OK. So when I run this, I'm going to get an output, which is the exact year, 2021. That's what I'm expecting. So let's do for the next one, which is the month number. Tell me if it is January by saying one. Instead of me adding the Compose Action Card again, I'm just going to copy this Action Card to my clipboard. When I'm adding a new Action Card, I come to my clipboard, then take my year, all of them, yeah. And I can rename it to month number. Then I'm not going to edit this. I'd rather start again so that I can get used to the expression. First, because I need a number, I'm going to wrap it in an integer. Format date time is the function, and it should be two inputs. First is my date, which I see have a date value. I'm going to put a comma, and for month, you have to quote M in capital letter. Twice. You know, 2M will return the number, however, it's going to be a string, you need to convert it to an integer. That's the essence of the int that I start the expression with. I'm going to click OK. So I have my month number here. What other things do I want to do? Let me do one, then we'll run this and we'll see the output together. Let's do OK. I still have my clipboard. Yeah. So rename. I'm going to call this month abbreviation. In case you want to have the number, the month number is January is one. January is month one. 
but when you use the month abbreviation you get to have something like jan which means january feb which means february this is how you can get that kind of uh, value so i'm coming back to my expression and because what i need is not an integer i don't need to wrap it with an int again i just need to go straight away and use my format date time format date time where is my date input come here to date value and what format do i need it i'm just going to put the hem three times so initially we use it twice that's for the number for abbreviation is three times you can always guess the full one okay clicking okay i'm saving my flow saved let us test the flow now our flow now has run successfully so let us check the output don't forget our date is still this full date up to minute the hours the seconds even the microseconds the year we are seeing 2021 for month number is one that's january for month abbreviation you can see jan which is january all right so let us edit and do few more date extraction let's do the full month name give me the month in full and i'm still going to go back let me just use and i will rename i'll call it month full name and don't forget it is not an integer so you don't need to wrap it with an int but this time i for my date time where is our dates which is the date value don't forget to choose this one we can be getting different output as we see here but remember the heading is date value that is our date input others are for their output for other uh, action card that we had you can see the description for year for month number and for month abbreviation so i'm going to choose this date uh, input i'm putting a comma quoting this and having it four times so remember to get the number you put m for month twice to m to get the abbreviation to get the month in abbreviation put three m's but to get the full you know full months in strings you put four m's i have it here and um, let us also go to day of week so it is thursday here in nigeria and that should be day start from monday so monday to the wednesday thursday that's day four let's this time i'll let just just add the compose action and i'm going to call this day of week what expression will give us the of week we are not going to use the function format data and this time there's another function called day of week you can see we have day of month day of year day of week so i'm going to use day of week and i'm just going to pass in my date input which is this sorry i'm going to day of week That is my date input, and that's okay. Oh, I have something here. Day of week. All right. Then let us also have day of week. This time around, telling us is it Monday, is it Tuesday, is it Wednesday? This is all going to give us the number, day of week number. That's what we have here. So let me rename and say day of week in number. Let us also add day of week in strings. Like let us see it like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm going to make use of my clipboard here and I'm going to rename it to day of week. Let me just put string. So we want to have it in alphabet. Um, what we change here is the fact that you are not going to use day of week. You rather use format day time, but there's a way you pass the format. So format day time. I'm coming to dynamic content. I'm choosing my date input. And for my format, I'm going to use D, D, D four times, D four times. And that way is going to tell me what particular day of the week is. Is it Monday, is it Tuesday, is it Wednesday? So I'm going to save this now and then, you know, test the flow. So our flow runs successfully. Let us see how it works. All right. So I am just going to start again from dead value. This is the year, this is the month number, January, this is the month abbreviation, 
this is the month in full this is the day of the week is four because it's thursday and of course you can see that here all right let me know once you have this you can always concatenate them to form a date you can use this output you can also combine your function or expression together so instead of us having them in different action cards so let me know what you're thinking let me know in what way you're going to use this in your power automate uh, project thank you